who has given up the fight to repeal Obamacare is Ron Johnson, the senator from Wisconsin, who conceded yesterday that it's too late to talk about getting rid of the Affordable Care Act, and now is the time to focus on the transition. Senator Johnson here uh, also sits on the budget committee. He's here with us uh, in New York. Senator, great to have you morning. join us this morning. Uh, I wouldn't say I've given up the fight. I I'm just trying to acknowledge reality. You know, listen, when, when the health care law was simply you know 1,600 pages or 20,000 pages of rules and regulation, you could repeal it and get rid of it. But now what's happened, it's been implemented. It exists. You, know, you have these exchanges set up. So now we've got to be talking about how do you unravel you know, the health care law? How do you limit the damage? How do you start protecting Americans? I think it's really our responsibility to do so. So no, I, 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 still, I still want to repeal the law. But again, it exists. So when you repeal it, you're going to have to transition into more free, free market uh, reforms that actually will restrain costs. So will what's actually your focus quality now then? Customer. Senator, what's your focus now? Well, what I'm trying to do right now is try and preserve freedom and choice in health care. I mean, I think that's what we need to do. What, what we're seeing is all these mandated coverages are dramatically increasing the cost. All those promises made by not only you know, the president, but also Democrat senators and House members, if you like your health care plan, if you like your doctor, if you like your treatments, if you like your prescription drugs, now we're finding out you're not going to be able to keep those things. So I think it's incumbent on Republicans to show most, the American public what we're for. Right, most Pardon? people can keep it. Some people aren't. What, your it. doctors? Absolutely not. You're, you're, people are going to buy these health care plans right now. They can't find out whether their doctors are in the plans. A lot of these doctors are being given these, these contracts. Because of the increasing cost, they're not being reimbursed at adequate levels, so they're not joining the network. So, so no, it, it is, it is a disaster. You're committed to making it work better. That's your goal now, not not. No, what, I, what I'm committed to is trying to preserve freedom and choice. You know, well, listen, I, actually, I, I, I heard oh. I heard Dr. Emanuel talk about Obamacare is all about choice. No, it's about coercion. And I think we do need to allow Americans to buy the type of health care coverage, keep Senator, the doctors, and have the treatments they actually want. I'm, I'm about preserving choice and freedom. Okay, but Megan Hughes, uh, who, who just gave us that report, she's standing by, she's been listening in on this. Is it true what the senator is saying? About the, uh, about the shrinking of choices for Americans. And this is what we've heard Republicans say uh, that has happened through Obamacare. Sure, and one of the back and forth that we've seen uh, in the House going on, Congressman Upton had a plan where companies would continue to be able to offer individual plans to new customers as well next year. A lot of Democrats were saying that's going to gut the law. That's an example of some of the back and forth that we've seen on choices. But Senator Johnson, one of the things that I was curious to hear from you is what's your hope for what January 1st looks like. Do you see there being improvements in healthcare.gov? Well, I think it's going to be a disaster. I think uh, we're already seeing that the back end really hasn't been created in this website, which, by the way, I've seen uh, private sector web experts saying that they could have produced this website in about, with about five to ten million dollars. And, and you know, we've taken three and a half years in the government, spent close to a billion dollars to do it. So, yeah, you know, I'm just asking people to, to ask themselves a question. Do you really want the federal government to continue to grow, to be more involved in your life, to be more involved in your health care system and making health care decisions for you? It's a monumentally bad decision. So, again, I think this is going to be a disaster. I think people are going to wake up not being insured the way they think they were insured, not having access to the doctor doctors and the treatments have kept them alive. And so I, I, we're trying to preserve the, that freedom and try and preserve those doctors and those treatments. Uh, Senator, let me just switch gears real quickly because I know you don't have a lot of time, but uh, Congressman Scott Ridgell uh, from the House Budget Committee was, with the, uh, was on with us yesterday and he gave a 50-50 chance that Congress will pass some sort of budget before December 13th. And I want you to listen to what he said about this uh, budget process. Sure. We went through a very painful and really non-productive, in my view, 16-day shutdown. Now, on the very first day of that, I tweeted that, look, we fought the good fight. It's time to pass a clean CR. Mm -hmm. Now, that was running contrary to where my conference was, but I didn't see it getting better for our conference or for our nation. Where are you in this camp? Well, listen, I, I didn't want to see the last shutdown. I, I think the federal government does enough harm to our economy without heaping on additional harm by all this crisis management. But, it, you know, listen, these, these uh, continuing resolutions, the increase in the debt ceiling, these are moments that at least force action to start dealing with our long-term debt and deficit issue. This president, you know, Democrats, senators, and House members but don't seem to be... a clean resolution? You know, well, so what I, what I would say is, you know, we've got the Budget Control Act. I hope the House, if, we, if, if uh, Congressman Ryan and, and Senator Murray can't come up with, with some sort of good deal, I hope they at least pass a clean, continuing resolution at those Budget Control Act caps. Sen Democrat senators voted for that. President Obama signed it. They should at least agree to that. I don't want to shut down the government. I don't think any Republican does. I don't think any American wants to see no. that either. All right. Uh, Senator, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great we appreciate morning. it.
Republican Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin. And we